everybody, this is Ryan, Jeff Brown Yachts in beautiful San Diego. Uh, I'm on board one of my new listings. This is a 2004 Symbol 74 by the name of Pay It Forward. So welcome aboard, Pay It Forward. I'm gonna give you guys a, a video walkthrough of this uh, so you can really take in what this boat has to offer for you. And I'm gonna point out some of my favorite aspects of the boat. So join me on a walk through the boat. All right, so first of all, we're gonna start here on the back deck, the cockpit of, of the boat here. This is a, a sport fish model, uh, but what's really cool about it is how they have the aft deck separate from the fishing deck. So I'm gonna take you and kind of show you this whole layout here. The teak is in amazing condition. The gel coat is looks phenomenal. You know, it is a 20 year old boat and it does not look like a 20 year old boat. So you can be very impressed with this boat. So come down and check it out. Here we're gonna show you around this boat. So entering the aft cockpit area is done through port and starboard side boarding gates. So we're gonna come through the port side here. And the first thing you notice is just how well the teak condition is and the layout of this, of this aft deck. This lower hatch in the, uh, in the deck is gonna give you access to the lazarette where you can find accommodations for a water maker or, and or a deep freezer and direct access to the boat's heater system and running gear. We have the uh, starboard boarding gate. And then this gate here is gonna give you access to the fishing deck. So coming through here, you have great step down, nice separate from the cockpit. So you can really get your fishing game going on here. You're gonna see rod holders in the gun works, bait holder. Ports for your mooring gear. And we have another access gate to the swim deck. On this boat, you'll see the, the fishing deck is not an afterthought. This is a custom feature directly from the factory. So your gunnel works all incorporated into that fishing deck and flows nicely into this one piece swim deck with these removable um, railings. Coming back through, entering the, the fishing deck and back into the aft cockpit. Back here, you're also gonna see access to the engine room where you're gonna find twin C18 Caterpillar engines and two Northern Light generators. Over here on the starboard side is your docking controls, giving you control of the engines, balanced turn thrusters, which are hydraulic, and the lazarette uh, access. Also a great feature coming off the aft deck is your day head. Super convenient, sink and headhunter electric flush toilet system. This is great for your guests and yourself so you don't have to go through the boat uh, to use the head. Last little pan around here. All right, we're gonna head into the salon area of Pay It Forward. All right, welcome to the salon of Pay It Forward. This is a great space for lounging and entertaining. And what you're gonna find in here is, to our starboard side, is an L-shaped uh, lounge uh, couch with a high-low table, coffee table here. And that's great because you can, while you're watching a movie, you can have it set up for um, just having your snacks on it. But you can also raise it to a higher point and actually have dinner around the table. And over to our port, I'm gonna show you the entertainment center, which houses a Bose uh, stereo system tied to the high-low uh, TV system. And then I step out of the way here, but as you see, moving forward, you're gonna find the galley. I think this is a really great feature of this vessel because the galley really allows 
um, the conversation and communication between guests and whoever is preparing um, in, in the galley there. And you're also gonna see the full size GE appliances, which is a really nice feature on a vessel of this size and what it has to offer. So I'm gonna give you guys a walk through of it. So you can see you enter into the salon from the aft deck here and to the port is where you're gonna find the entertainment cabinet and great amount of storage, which also incorporates the high-low table. Over here to starboard, you're gonna see the high-low coffee table or dinner table, as most people would have it, and this really comfortable L-shaped uh, sofa. Another great feature you'll see is just how spacious and light is this, is this area right here with all the natural light and the large salon windows. You know, as we move forward, we have uh, two uh, chair, high chairs for the, the bar here that goes up to a beautiful granite countertop. And you can see the full-size GE appliances. We have a side-by-side -side refrigerator with indoor water and ice. We have a trash compactor, dishwasher, electric full-size oven, cooktop, microwave. The dual sink is really a nice feature as well. Again, just taking in like the full view here. Great, great entertaining and hosting space. Lots of storage, as you can see. I'll open this up here. We have a large pullout to store pantry items. Really nice and convenient. As we come around to the port side, you're going to see the stairs that lead up into the helm area. But off to the starboard, we have more storage, wine chiller, and then additional um, storage and access to vital systems. All right, here we are up in the pilot house helm area. Um, another great feature of this vessel it's very ship like which is really nice and what you're going to see up here we have port and starboard access doors that are very weather tight heavy duty hardware i'll point those out great center for running the vessel seeing all the vital systems um, you have your electrical distribution panels over here your generator controls over here uh, helm seats are awesome you got great visibility for your engine controls radars and communications and then back here in the starboard kind of aft corner is your u-shape settee and what you're going to see here is this is a high low table with a filler cushion so for those long transits and you have crew on board and you're taking turns around the vessel um, you have this point here or it's just a great spot for additional guests you know as we can sleep already six comfortably down in the staterooms we can also sleep uh, two at this uh, space as well. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick kind of overview up here. So we're gonna access the pilot house helm area from the port side coming out of the galley. Nice little walk right here. You can see one, this is the port side door, one of two doors here. And we have the second over there to starboard. <clears throat> Take notice of the beautiful and heavy duty helm seats. All your instrumentation you need to see the vital systems of the vessel and to communicate your helm wheel engine controls pump and statuses over here we have the generator controls and over here on the port side going down is going to be access to the berth areas back here to our starboard stern aft area is the U-shaped settee I spoke of with the high-low table and the filler cushions. Also, this is gonna give you access to the flybridge. Very convenient and, uh, and safe. All right, so we're gonna move up into the flybridge, utilizing the stairs and access from pilot house. As you can see, you have a nice little L-shaped seating area here with table. And then over here to starboard, we have another area for seating. Two helm seats and all the vital controls to, to run the, the vessel safely. Great visibility. 
It is a soft top Bimini, which is in great condition. As you can see, all the heavy duty stainless hardware to support it. Moving aft under the tender deck, we have a small tender here with a 1500 pound hydraulic crane. We have a cooktop grill area. archway to house all the communications and antennas. More rod holders, outriggers, and then access down to the aft deck from here. All right, on the port side, moving forward, I'm gonna take you guys down below to where you'll find the owner's head, uh, suite, guest suite and vip suite come down some windy stairs here you'll come down to a landing all right so down here in the lower level um, in the little landing area here and i'm facing forward and behind me is entrance into the owner's suite and going forward is going to be the vip the guest head and then the guest cabin um, so i'm going to walk you guys through uh, each of these cabins here so Follow me. All right, so moving aft from the landing, we're gonna come into the owner's suite. And the first thing you're gonna notice, which I think is super cool, is the electric fireplace. This does provide heat and a great level of ambiance. To our port is a queen size bed. And underneath you'll find storage drawers. And also off to the port side you see the um, porthole and they have these great covers that really make the room comfortable um, and, and makes you feel like you're really not on a boat we have his and hers lockers with cedar lining tons of hang up locker storage you have a Bose sound system down here more drawers and the aft bulkhead, an LED TV. And then we're going to go into here. So you see is uh, pocket doors separate the, the sleeping area from the ensuite head. Headhunter electric flush toilet, Corian countertops, and then a jacuzzi jetted tub and shower, also with a porthole to port. All right, coming out of the owner's cabin, we're going to move forward past the washer dryer area here and come up a couple of stairs. And immediately to our starboard is our guest berth, supporting two single beds um, and lots of storage drawers and a hang up locker as well. We have a TV and a porthole to starboard behind the, uh, the window shades there. Coming around, we'll get to that one in a minute. Over here we have the guest head, which is also shared with the VIP cabin. And here you can find Corian countertops, the granite flooring, Headhunter electric flush, toilet, stand-up shower, with a porthole there. Moving forward into the VIP cabin, you have a nice center line um, queen berth with storage and hang up lockers on porn starboard side and you have a porthole on your porn starboard side as well and then your overhead hatch great use of space very cozy down below here facing aft again again to our starboard guest bunk and here's the stairs heading back up into the pile house area And give you guys a quick walk around the outside so we're on the aft deck again coming around the starboard side as you can see we have the great uh, overhang here teak decks running down the side tall gunnel works which makes for a nice safe we have the cleats that store nice and flat which are a really nice feature moving up again heavy duty stainless steel work all in great condition three teak stairs heading 
up to the bow area. We have our access to the pilot house from the starboard side door. Moving around, again, nice tall stainless steel rail, bow pads, sun pads here. Got all your tackle systems. Two large uh, lazarettes for uh, your lines and ground tackle. Hydraulic um, windlass system. Moving around to the port side here, head and aft. You can see a great visibility of the pile house. Great look at the flybridge in Bimini. Moving down our port side, you're going to see the port side access to the pile house. This gives you a great view of the overhang over the side decks. Teak looks in great condition. All right, so here we are in the aft deck again. Um, we're going to head down to the engine room now. Engine room is accessed through this hatch here that goes the ladder well. A little bit of a tight space to get down into it, but still very well laid out. C18 Caterpillars with almost 2,400 hours on them. But you can see they're in very clean. Direct drive. Good access. Brand new through hole hardware and C strainers. Freshly serviced Fireboy system. Moving aft, you can see you get your dual Northern Lights generators. All right, so thank you for joining me on a walkthrough of Pay It Forward, our 2004 Symbol Yacht 74. It's a great boat. Um, it is actively listed here at Jeff Brown Yachts. For information on this boat, give me a call. Uh, you can find this listing on our website or in um, Yacht World. So yeah, it's a fabulous boat. Thank you for joining me. And if you have more questions, I'd love to take the opportunity to show you guys this boat. Have a great day. Great day.